now that you have seen how simulation looks like in our graphic user interface and how you can work with existing simulations and modify it, let's uh, start new simulations so that you will see uh, how you can use the same graphic user interface to build new simulation from ground zero. When you click on start a new simulation button, uh, you receive a blank slate, with the exception that you also have all these rectangles that uh, you have seen in the existing simulation. You have a rectangle for a character of robot instructor, dialogue, another uh, rectangle for dialogue choices, steps to do, working steps, uh, etc. Let's uh, create a really simple simulation, very similar to what we have uh, seen in existing simulation. A sales example where a salesperson, trainee, who is uh, being trained to be a salesperson, is uh, visiting an office. The first person that uh, that trainee will encounter will probably will be a receptionist or secretary. So you click on the character uh, rectangle on the red rectangular, uh, pull it anywhere in the field, double click on it, and you have and you receive dialog or form that allows you to select uh, from the list of the available uh, robot avatars, and of course you can create as many robot avatars as you wish uh, for that will work with this uh, graphic user interface. Note that now that you've done that, the label on the rectangular changed from uh, character to the name of a robotic avatar that you selected. Now you can click on the dialog rectangular, pull it into the field and connect to the secretary. Uh, that's uh, how you create the flow of the simulation. When a trainee approaches a secretary, uh, there will be a dialog form that allows you to create the dialog header. Let's simply call uh, this dialog dialog1 and uh, the header uh, text of the dialog will be something uh, like please select how do you want to start conversation with the secretary. Double clicking on this dialog1 again just confirms that everything uh, that uh, you wrote was uh, recorded and you are on your way uh, to creating your simulation. Now that we have dialog header, let's decide. Let's say we will have two dialog choices uh, in this uh, dialog. We I just uh, pull uh, two boxes uh, from dialog choices, double click on each of them and create two choices that the trainee will see uh, in this dialog choices to which uh, he, which uh, trainee will need to select or to which uh, uh, trainee need, uh, will need to respond. We are creating a simple example, so let's say the first choice will be a real bad one, uh, something along the lines, hi, I need to see Dr. Hallandale, where can I find her? And uh, I will score this choice is zero because it's not a very professional opening. Trainee didn't introduce he, him or herself, uh, didn't mention uh, if uh, he or she has an appointment, etc. So it's not not a very good choice. The second choice will be much better, 
let's say it's dialogue one choice two and uh, I want to make it a real good choice the trainee will introduce himself uh, mention the name of the company a trainee represents uh, mention that he has an appointment at what time and ask uh, the secretary to tell Dr. Hallandale uh, that uh, he is there for the appointment Moving in this manner uh, ahead, step by step, you can uh, create a rather complex simulation based on a branching story approach, uh, but not only communication simulations perhaps, but this graphic user interface allows you without any need to learn programming, etc., without any technical background, allows you to create simulations where robotic avatars teach trainees to operate equipment or where robotic avatars work as guides that for example walk a tra a new hires through certain situations and uh, conduct at least a part of a new hire orientation program Obviously, anything and everything you do, you can modify, change, remove uh, at any time. You can move dialogues around, and please note that moving uh, rectangles around on the uh, screen means that you change the logical flow of the simulation. So, by simply rearranging graphical elements on the screen, you modify the simulation in the way you want it to be. It's really very versatile and certainly should be one of the tools you use in creating immersive training in your organization. Thank you very much for your patience. Hopefully this little presentation was of interest.